Hello friends, welcome to another quick and dirty video where I really don't want to cut out all these individual pieces. Why not throw an eighth inch piece of lumber in the laser and have it cut out all the geometries? I'm going to try to do this live in one take and if you want to hum the Mission Impossible theme, uh, be my guest. I'm selecting lines, taking them out where they're not needed. In other words, we've got to tell the laser to cut these parts and not cut out all this excess. On this one, if it's angled, grab your corner piece. If you try to grab this, you would think that would do it straight up, but it actually skews it. So grab that corner piece and you can, while you're holding the left button down, you can move your cursor over out of the way where you can see right up to where you want to put it. It's a great thing. Okay. Bring that all the way to there. Seems kind of extreme, but it just saves me from drawing lines later, which we're going to do here in just a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and select your line thing. I'm going to do a different color just to help me see better. You see when that snaps to that spot. Uh -huh. It snaps to that spot. Left click and let go. Then drag that up. Let it snap to the next one. Left click again. Pull away and right click to start another line. Up to there. Click. We need that down to there. Click. Left click down. Meet that. Left click. Pull away. Right click. Go back to our arrow selector. Shorten this. You can, while you're holding that left button down, remember you can move that cursor away and still go the same direction. Ooh. I think I left a gap. So I'm going to scroll in. I'm going to left click. I'm going to move my cursor up out of the way, holding that left button down, and then ease that over. Make the connection good enough. And, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Are we done? Select the entire thing. Hit the black button to do it all one color. Oh, wait a minute. Select the whole thing and group it. It's ready for the laser. First and foremost, always, always, before you start cutting, go down to preview. And that'll tell you what the laser's looking to cut out. And so if that looks right, then we can continue. Okay, as you can see here, I went ahead and did a, a little bit on a piece of cardboard before I committed to burning it to wood. And that's just, just to make doubly sure everything's going to work out good. Uh, this thing turned out really well. Uh, it's an eighth inch ply. It's really strong, very lightweight. I can just barely uh, put a half a control horn in there. So what I'll end up doing is going back into light burn and thicken in this area up a little bit and then try to use up some of the wood. Uh, I can make some little servo uh, brackets or in fact I think what I'll do is make a pull pull system out of wood. Once I get in here where all I have to do is cut out a slot and run the wood down through there and use fishing string. But our base model has turned out very well and just took a couple of minutes. 